Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. We're gonna continue our series of withdrawing tokens to our Tracer hardware wallet and today's token will be the Binance token. The Binance token symbol is BNB as you guys can see here on the screen. I've purchased just a little bit for the demo today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to actually store BNB on your Tracer device as it's not actually supported by Tracer Desktop Suite. So what we're gonna to need to do is first connect our Tracer device to MetaMask. Now how are we gonna do that? Well, what we have right now is we have Binance tokens and we can choose which network to withdraw them to. So today, we're gonna to do the Binance Smart Chain. Now the Binance Smart Chain is compatible with MetaMask and that's what we're gonna to use to link to our Tracer device. So if I just head over here to MetaMask, I'm already logged in. And what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to switch from the Ethereum network over to Binance Smart Chain. So we're gonna click on this link here and we're gonna go down to Custom RPC. We're gonna type in Binance Smart Chain. We're gonna type in the RBC URL, which I have copied over here. I'm just gonna bring it in to save us some time and paste it in here. The chain ID is 56, symbol BNB, and the block explorer URL is BSC scan. So this is all the information you're gonna need right here to authenticate the Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask. You'll just hit save and then just hit X on that. And as you can see now, we've switched over to Binance Smart Chain and now it's BNB compatible. So next, what we're gonna need to do is plug in our Tracer device, make sure it's already unlocked. Go to the top right here and hit Connect Hardware Wallet. And it's gonna ask you which wallet you have. You can either do Ledger or Tracer. I have a Tracer, so we're gonna do that. And hit Continue. And it's gonna ask for our bridge. You're gonna say Allow Once for the Session, Export, and then if you have a passphrase, type it in. If not, just hit enter and choose which network you'd like, which network address you would like to use for your account. So for today's demo purposes, I'm just gonna use the last one. Hit unlock. And now I have my account enabled through Tracer and MetaMask to store my Binance tokens offline uh, like I would using you know, the Tracer desktop suite, uh, which unfortunately we don't have compatibility for yet. So now that I have my address, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna head back over to Mandela Exchange. I'm gonna paste my address in here, put the amount, which will be the max, and then I will hit submit. And now I'll go through my security verification to withdraw the tokens. And there we go. Now I've submitted my withdrawal request for my 0.21 BNB, and it's gonna make its way over to my MetaMask Tracer Link account. And we'll wait for that transaction to confirm now. And as you can now see, the 0.21 BNB has reached my wallet on my Tracer device. And that's pretty much it for actually storing the BNB itself. So now what we did to recap is we went to MetaMask. We switched the network from Ethereum, which was the default. We went down and we created a custom RPC, which is the Binance Smart Chain. Once we enabled that, now we had access to our Tracer device. We connected it and we chose one of our five addresses to store our BNB on, and now the BNB is on address five. If I wanna send this BNB back to the exchange, there's one thing you have to make sure that you do correctly, and that is you choose the Binance Smart Chain network. You don't send it back directly to the Binance Chain, you have to choose Binance Smart Chain. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys. So if I go back to the, my deposits of the Mandela Exchange, you can see how there's three different networks. So if, if I wanna send my Binance that I just stored on my Tracer, back to Mandala, I would go back to deposit, I would copy my address, I'd go back to MetaMask, I'd hit send, I would paste my address in, my BNB, and I would just hit next, and then send my transaction, confirm it on Tracer, and that would be it. And that's pretty much it, guys, for storing BNB on your Tracer device. As the BNB is actually on the device, if you ever need to do any transactions, you obviously have to have your Tracer plugged in, otherwise you won't be able to do them. It's not actually stored on MetaMask, it's stored on your Tracer which is obviously safer. And that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.